I, I so was going to say, we were talking a lot about that when Doyle made his self-sacrifice. Yeah. Exactly. And again, it's very fitting that that would kind of inspire Epsilon in this way. Uh-huh. And even yeah. with this, we have the reappearance of the AI fragments. And I know a lot of people, I'm so sad Church is gone, but Delta's back! <laughs> Are we sure? <laughs> New AI now. They're all, they're all back. Yeah. Yeah. God it's, a, it's an interesting idea of just like if Epsilon is memory and memory to me like I, I feel like a person is um, a person's personality is essentially created by their surroundings their upbringing and their experiences and their memories and all that stuff so it's like if you were to get rid of all of that then especially if you are memory like if that's what Epsilon is if you get rid of that then then it frees up a lot of space for all these like root functions and deltas and you know all the other AI to step in and do their thing. So it's yeah, and the iterations of the AI I think are something I'm fascinated by because and that's why epsilon was key to that memory being the key is that the memories of things are often a very distilled version of those things. Like even as you pass down like you know very famous people in history, it's like you know, Napoleon or Genghis Khan or whoever, you know, or Einstein, it's like you just get the basis of who they were, you know, you don't get all the other things that make a human mind or a human life what it is, and so now that Epsilon is gone and he was the one keeping all of them in check at that point, what we're left with are these memories of these fragments it's basically like they're very, the core of the core, yeah, of like the core. Yeah. version of them, yeah yeah, so because um, that's what survives in memory, right? Is the most is is, is the the strongest uh, you know elements of what took place or who those people were. So yeah. Yeah, and that's interesting because he's not there to keep him in check anymore. You know? Yeah, I'm worried it's about a lot of fun stuff to play with there too. Like if Epsilon is not there uh, in that group, um, what's it like with that group of AI too? If they have no memories of anything, mm-hmm. like and they're just like they're almost like starting fresh themselves. So there's a lot to play with there. I'm wondering how you'll handle Sigma because Elijah Wood, I'd imagine he's a hard guy to get in studio. Now we hang out all the time. <laughs> <laughs> in fact, we're going to make for coffee after this. Well, Elijah's always been super, super gracious. So if we ever want to use Sigma again, we'll just have to see. Yeah, we'll just have to see. We just have to ask, you know, and, and then he'll have to say either yes or no. So. <laughs> Sigma will just be a silent, looming, terrifying figure. That's all. <laughs> We didn't break uh, Elijah away from his DJing career that he has now. He's a very successful DJ. Really? Yeah, he spins oh. records all the time. He loves it. Travels the world doing that stuff. That's amazing. Yep. Fun wow. fact. Fun <laughs> fact.